guys, welcome to another video. Today it's gonna to be a little bit different. This video I am really excited for because we are gonna be featuring um, the brand Mellow Cosmetics. If you haven't heard of them, I hope you find this video helpful by getting to know some of their products and watching me try them out with you on camera. Before we get into the details of the products that I'm gonna be using today, I, I did wanna let you guys know that I am going to be including a link to, to Mellow Cosmetics website in the description bar along with a coupon code for 15% off your order. That coupon code is Mellow15. Just to let you guys know that is an affiliate link. So I do make a small commission if you guys decide to use that link. If you decide not to, then by all means, you can just go to their website, Mellow Cosmetics, and browse their products. This video is by no means shape or form sponsored by Mellow Cosmetics. The products that I am trying out today I purchased with my own money um, and the opinions are all my own. So now that we've got that out of the way, the items that we're going to be using today's video, I have two products that I am going to be using with you guys on camera. Um, I did order a third product, however, it did not come in time for this video and I really wanted to get this up for you guys to showcase these items because I think they're just so pretty. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, I'm gonna leave my handle somewhere here on the screen. You can go ahead and follow. I posted earlier this week some pictures of the items, specifically the Mellow Cosmetics Stardust Glow Palette here. Um, the shades in it are really pretty. So this is the outer unicarton. Mellow Cosmetics has this palette in two shades. So they have a light medium, which is the shade that I purchased, and they have a medium dark as well. And it's basically a face palette. So I'll go ahead and show you the inside. You can see it comes with a bronzer, a blush, and two different highlights in some really pretty shades that would work well for light to medium skin tones, hence why it's the light to medium palette. This palette here retails for $38. And like I said, if you decided to use my link in the description bar with the code, you would get 15% off. As you can see, I have no blush or highlighter um, on right now. I do have a little bit of cream contour, but not much bronzers because we are gonna be using this palette on camera together. And the second item that I have to share with you guys today is the Glitter Chrome Eyeshadow. This is the exterior unicarton. I got mine in the shade Champagne. So this is the inner packaging, which is super cute. And on the inside, we've got the color right there. Again, I am gonna be trying this out on camera with you guys. This item right here retails for $22, and I believe they have at least three or four shades. I'll try to put a picture up somewhere here on the screen so you guys see the different shades. So what I thought we'd do is start off with some swatches of the face palette and then the application on my face, and then we'll move on into the glitter eyeshadow and create an eyeliner. And this is the inside of the palette. This palette does come with a mirror, and you got pretty decent um, size pans there, which I was actually surprised when I opened it to see that the pans were that big. Let's go ahead and start off with the two shades on top, which um, are looking like the highlighter shades. So you've got Star and Luna. I'm gonna go into Star first. I'm just gonna rub my finger in there. And that is Star on my middle finger. And we're gonna go ahead and swatch. And that is Star. It's definitely more of a yellow toned highlight. And then going into Luna, so that's Luna on my ring finger. Um, and what's left on my middle finger is what was left after I swatched. We're gonna go ahead and swatch that right next to Star. And Luna is more of a uh, pinkish uh, rose gold tone. So that's it right there. So definitely not the most blinding highlights, but again, these are finger swatches, so we'll see how they apply on the face. I don't always feel like swatches, uh, hand swatches always do the shades justice, just because when you apply it on the face with a brush or sponge or whatnot, it's gonna apply differently. Next, we're gonna go into the bronzer or contour shade, which is Dawn right over here. Feels pretty smooth in the pan, so that is Dawn right there, which doesn't look like a too too much of a warm tone bronzer contour, which I actually like. Swatching it looks like it does air a little bit more on the warm tone. That actually swatched beautifully, so you can see that right there. And then last but not least, we're gonna be swatching the blush, which is this really pretty uh, pink shade called Delta and we've got Delta right there. That's a pretty pigmented blush color. So I'm gonna say we might need to go with a light hand 
on the brush and just be careful with um, applying that so it's not too much. And while we're here swatching, let's just go ahead and swatch the Glitter Chrome Eyeshadow. I have the shade in Champagne, so I'm gonna go in and dip my finger in it, just do a little swirl right there. And that is the shade on my ring finger, and I'm gonna swatch it right above those shades. It doesn't feel too um, creamy, I would say. I think this is more of like a drier formula of the Glitter Chrome, so that's it right up there. I hope the camera is catching that color. You can see it's a more of a pinky champagne, I would say. The other item that I had purchased from Mellow Cosmetics was actually one of their new eyeshadow quads. I was really, really, really excited for it. Unfortunately, because I placed two different orders, um, the eyeshadow quad is going to be arriving, like I said, next week. I am gonna include a picture of the different quads that they have on their website right now, just in case you're interested, and that way you can check them out if you are planning on shopping um, on their website. Okay, so let's dip into this palette. Um I'm gonna go ahead and use this face palette as if I would do was finishing my makeup, starting off with the bronzer. So I'm gonna take the typical bronzer brush that I use. This is a really old brush that I don't even remember. Um, I think I got it from Marshalls years ago and I'm just gonna dab in. Whoop, does look like it has quite a bit of kick up. I don't know if you guys can see that. So just gonna blow that off. And then um, I do have quite a bit on the brush. So I'm gonna dust that off. and I go ahead and apply it as normal. So I am noticing this bronzer definitely airs a little bit more on the warmer side. Interesting because when I swatched it on my finger, it didn't look too warm, but now that I'm applying it, it's definitely a little bit on the warmer side. And this is the light medium palette. does seem to be blending well. I think I'm gonna change brushes into a more, into a smaller um, and a little bit more denser brush. This is the Alamar Cosmetics uh, complexion brush right here. I wonder if it had that much kick up just because that other brush that I was using is more of a fluffy brush because this one definitely doesn't have as much. And I'm not too precise with my bronzers. I kind of like to just put it all over. Okay, so there we have the bronzer from the Stardust Face Palette, the shade Dawn. And as I mentioned earlier, I did have a little bit of cream contour underneath. However, I didn't powder my face. Um, I actually forgot to do that. I usually do powder my face, so um, just take that into consideration. But overall, it is a matte bronzer. There's no sheen or shimmer in it blended nicely i'm not seeing any like patches or areas where it like didn't blend so pretty good so far next we're gonna go into the highlighters so um what i do usually with my highlighters is i do like to apply it before i do my blush also if i've had my base on for a bit i do like to take my damp sponge and just kind of press on the areas that i would put my highlighter um, just to help it stick so it's not straight dry. And looking at this formula, it does seem like a little bit more of a powdery formula, so I feel like having it damp-ish is gonna help the pigment stick to my face. So I'm gonna be using a BH Cosmetics highlighter brush, which is this one right here, and I'm actually gonna dip into both Star and Luna, just do a little tap in each. Again, there is kick up, so we're gonna go ahead and do that and just up whoa can you guys see that okay that is not what i was expecting from after seeing the swatch the swatch looked a little drier so this looks more highlighty than what i was expecting um i think this shade i think the shade star is definitely pulling through a bit more that yellow which I like because I tend to have a bit more of yellow undertones anyway. It also could be the fact that we used our damp sponge to um, tap on the high points to help that shade. So let me go ahead and put it on the other side. Okay, so we've got Star and Luna highlight on. I also added it to the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my forehead. 
and that is what it's looking like. I'm really surprised by these. Like I said, from the swatches, I had expected a more drier formula, but on, they're really nice. They're definitely not your like pow in your face highlight. I feel like you can build it up if that's what you would like it to be. However, um, for just like a subtle glow, well, I don't know if you define this as subtle, but um, I like to be glowy, not bam in your face all the time, but I do like my highlight to show up. This can definitely, I feel like, be built up if you want that more pop in highlight or if you want something a bit more subtle you can also do that and last but not least out of this palette we're going to be diving into the blush again the shade is delta and i'm going to be taking my typical blush brush this is a morphe e53 and i'm gonna tap in and you can see how much pigment came off that is a lot of pigment we're also getting kick up in the pan, so if that's something that you're not a fan of, keep that in mind. I personally don't care. So we're tapping off the excess, and I'm gonna go lightly. I take it kind of um, on the, not necessarily on the apples of my cheeks, but a little bit higher, like where that bronzer and uh, highlight mesh. Okay, and I took just a little bit, guys, and look at that pigment. Um, that's that's pretty bright. <laughs> I mean, especially with like summer and spring coming. Wow, I don't think I, I mean, I figured it was gonna be pigmented from the swatch, but we took the littlest amount on the brush. So I'm just gonna tap this to help kind of bring that color down not mad at it it is a pretty pink color so let's go ahead and do the other side so we've got the blush on again pigmented so if you guys are interested in this palette i highly highly suggest going slow and steady with that blush um, or if you prefer a more uh, pigmented blush then by all means go for it but just letting you know you need the very littlest tap in um, before you apply it and I would suggest dusting off your brush as well I did um, just go ahead with whatever was left on the brush added a little bit to the bridge of my nose to kind of give me that sun-kissed look and you can see my highlighter is still shining through. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I prefer to put on my highlighter first and then my blush. I feel like the highlighter looks like a more like glow within when I do it that way versus putting the blush on first and the highlighter on top. And I feel like compared to other face palettes, it's a pretty comparable price. Um, and for the pan size, I feel like you're getting more bang for your bucks. product that we are gonna dive into is um, the Mellow Cosmetic Glitter Chrome Eyeshadow. I currently have nothing on my eyelids. Um, I didn't prime or prep or anything like that. I am gonna add just a little bit of something in the crease and then we're gonna go with this all over the lid to come up with some, just kind of a simple um, eye look. So I went ahead and like I said, just added something in the crease. Um, I did use the LC Cosmetics, the Minimalist Mob series um, to add a little bit of pink and purple to match with the glitter eyeshadow that we are going to be applying. Um, I am not going to be using this with a primer just because I want to see how it works on its own and uh, we'll see in terms of fallout and all of that how it goes. So I want to go in with my finger first. Again, I'm just going to swirl in there um, with my ring finger and that's about how much I have on there and I'm going to go ahead and tap or pat on my eyelid. Wow, are you guys seeing this? This looks completely different from the finger swatch. Um, and this is why I mentioned earlier, finger swatches do not do a product justice in most cases. So this is much more sparkly than that finger hand swatch. I hope it's coming off on camera. I am getting a little bit of fallout right here. I am going super gentle with the way I am patting it on. That is a really pretty color. Sparkly, without it being like overbearing or super in your face, if you know what I mean. So this is a, like I said, it's a glitter chrome eyeshadow, but nowhere on the package uh, did it say, or did it have the warning of not intended for the 
uh, immediate eye area. So I wonder if it's just the glitter particles in it are just a lot smaller than um, some of the other products that are glitters, if you know what I mean. They look really small, they don't look big at all. So, I mean, I'm comparing it in my mind to like the ColourPop press glitters and this is definitely not the same. These are much smaller, much finer. The directions on this says, use fingertips or brush to apply glitter eyeshadow over eyelid. You can layer the formula to build intensity um, and it does come with this like disc in there to, I think that's keep it airtight when you close it. Let's give it a shot on the other eye with a brush just so we can get an idea of what it would look like and what the difference would be and then as well what your preference would be depending on um, what you wanted to do with it. I'm taking this small flat shader brush. This is one from Alamar Cosmetics and I'm just going to kind of swipe in there, pick some product up and tap it off. The thing that I worry about with doing these kind of shadows with a brush is I, I worry about much more fallout than doing it with my finger, if that makes sense. So we're gonna go in with the brush on this eye and I hope you guys can see. So I'm gonna pat, pat and swipe. No, I don't like it with the brush. Um, you can see that compared to this eye Mm -mm, no, so we're going back in with the finger. Major difference from the brush. Definitely I would recommend using these glitter chrome eyeshadows with your finger. Again, these retail for $22 and they are there are at least three or four shades. Honestly guys, I'm looking at the mirror that's right down here. I'm really loving um, just kind of the sparkle that this is giving without it being super like in your face or intense. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more shadow to the crease and kind of clean this up and I'll be right and back. And we are back. So I went ahead and also added one of the highlight shades, uh, Luna as a brow bone highlight right here and added some in my inner corner um, and added some mascara. And you can see, even though I did add a little bit more depth and definition to my eyes with some eyeshadow, we still have that really pretty um, sparkle on the eyes that I am absolutely loving. I wonder if these would be semi-comparable to uh, Samantha Ravindahl's um, smoke reflectors, those, um, the eyeshadow pot thingy that she came out with, not the cream side obviously, but with the powder side on top. This one I would say is more of a um, lighter pink rose gold um, than a champagne. In my opinion, it looks a bit more pink to me than champagne, like kind of goldish white. Um, but overall, I really like it. And for those of you that are wondering, uh, Mellow Cosmetics is vegan and also cruelty free. Their products are also paraben free. All right, guys, so we have come to pretty much the end of this video. Again, like I mentioned in the beginning, there is going to be a link to Mellow Cosmetics website in my description bar that you can use for 15% off using the code MELLOW15. If you decide to use that link, it is an affiliate link, so I do make a small commission off of it. If you don't feel comfortable, that's totally fine as well. Still happy to have you here and watching these videos. Mellow Cosmetics also has other products, so these are not the only products that they have on their website. They have lip products, uh, lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liquid mattes, they have lip liners, they have, like I said, eyeshadow, quads which are new they also have single baked eyeshadows as well brow products etc so um, make sure you check them out and let me know in the comments below if you decided to pick anything up or if you've tried mellow cosmetics before i'd love to know what your thoughts are and what items are your favorite if you haven't subscribed to my channel already i would really appreciate if you did so by hitting that subscribe button i post videos every week generally on a tuesday sometimes i post twice a week just depending on how i'm feeling also make sure you follow me on instagram i post a lot of the products that i am using in upcoming videos or planning to use in upcoming videos as well as polls getting your guys's input on what you would prefer to see whether it's uh, deciding between two different products or two different videos on which one you guys are most interested in so go ahead and follow me there again I'll leave my handle somewhere here on the screen and or in the description box I hope you are having a great day or night wherever you are and I will see you in my next video bye